All right, well, we're back for day two of the Diamond Jubilee uh, here uh, at Greek Peak, the uh, the biggest Anarch event of the year, the biggest Anarch event in the last 75 years, even, <laughs> uh, Jeff. It's been a fantastic day yesterday, lots of great stuff, beautiful weather yesterday. Yes, it actually held nicely and uh, just enough rain to remind us that we're all anglophiles with our vehicles that's and right. our weather that's right that's right this is a much more british day today <laughs> it is a little bit overcast a little bit misty it's going to make uh, we we're just talking about it's going to make the rtv course uh, uh, a little more interesting i think uh, that'll be good it will so when we designed the rtv course we created five longish sections they take about five to eight minutes each mm -hmm. to complete complete but we, uh, we had quite a variety and still have quite a variety of skill and teaching opportunity right. for each participant. So you open with one that is nice on a field, and that's when we learn a bit how slippery grass can get when it's wet. When it's wet, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> but it was a great opportunity to learn some strategy for the folks who've never done an RTV before. Right. Section two took us right into the woods, a nice steep entrance uh, through a forest trail yes and uh section three is more of the side of a mountain almost mm -hmm. like a bugs bunny cartoon <laughs> of running left and right and left and right across the top of the mountain and then down through another wooded section and out into a field mm -hmm. which brings you to section four right section four has that great Wiley Coyote Roadrunner Cliff to start it yes, with. Yes, yes. That you head down very safely. Yeah. Um, and you have a moment to gather yourself before you head back up. Yes. And then through the woods again. Section five, with the closing section, is a wonderful mix of articulation on a flat field by virtue of many mounds, mm -hmm. a quick log crossing to finish it off, and mm -hmm. then another little trip mm -hmm. through the trees to finish it. We had lots of great people entertaining themselves on those sections and we had lots of fun watching particularly if you're new to this that's what yeah. was so exciting yeah this yeah. is what your land rover can do here's right. how to use your low range effectively right. here's the either the gear to be in or the button to push to get into the correct mud and rut right great great fun we're thrilled with it and we look forward to another afternoon of uh, marshaled and, if you will, uh, competition, yeah. competitive one. And then tomorrow, the all the RTV fields are open for anybody to do at any time they wish. Mm. We won't be there uh, staffing them, mm -hmm. but they're all safe and open. And ready to go. Well, and this afternoon, if I'm not mistaken, is the, is the big uh, Anarch Cup. This uh, afternoon, this afternoon, every instinct that all of us who created... <laughs> the ITV have to be evil mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the resident dr evil right constructed section number six yes and number six is designed to make certain that everybody is penalized in some section that's right yes it. that's right that's nobody's coming about. out clean yet. nobody's yeah, right. coming out clean that's in that right. one and we're going to check it over in case it does start to rain hard this afternoon mm -hmm. just to make sure that it remains safe and we may have to make an adjustment or two okay great Great, great. Well, we have uh, a bunch of uh, fun podcast stuff coming up this uh, uh, today and, and tomorrow. We're going to be talking to uh, some of our uh, honorees uh, today. Uh, Nick Dimbleby and Abigail are going to sit down and talk about uh, Abigail's recreation of some of Nick's photos from right. the G4 Challenge 20 years ago. And it's really interesting to see how uh, that landscape has changed, how there's parking lots now, how there's <laughs> rocks missing and all this uh, sort of stuff. And uh, then, of course, tonight is the big Diamond Jubilee uh, dinner, which I have heard is now completely sold out. Totally sold it out. It is a six, 600 person room or something. 600 yes? person, wow. 500 person building with a yeah. 100 person tent added onto the side <laughs> when they open doors. Excellent. Yes. And we have 900 people here. So, wow. Yeah. It's going to be, uh, it's yeah, gonna it's, be a, it's going to be a melee uh, to get in there. So, if you haven't gotten your tickets uh, uh, yet, it's too late. They're sold out, but uh, it's going to be a fantastic evening. All the honorees will be there. Right. Uh, and there's something, Stephen, to, if you didn't get a ticket um, at eight o'clock, I believe, mm -hmm. the doors will be open so that you can see the presentations right. that are being made. That's right. So, if, if you dined on your own, do come by. 
uh, between 7.30 and 8 o'clock. That's right. We're going to do a big toast, uh, uh, maybe a worldwide toast. It's we're still, hoping. It's in the works. In uh, the John works. and I were briefly talking about it yesterday, yeah. so we'll uh, we'll do what we can to make that happen. But, uh, yeah, and uh, another great day of uh, time here in the uh, dealer area. Uh, great things to take a look at. We're going to be talking to the folks this morning that have built the uh, electric conversion. Yes, that's uh, fascinating. Series 3. Very cool. That's here to uh, take a look at. Uh, so if I could, Steve, yeah. I heard that vehicle go by me, mm-hmm. me on one of the odd TV sections mm-hmm. and I heard the vehicle and I saw it coming down a hill. Yes. And my first thought was if a series vehicle or a defender are going downhill that quietly, right. perhaps it stalled. It out. stalled out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's uh, that's up. he's on the brakes. Get out of the way. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> what it was. It was, was totally well. yeah. right down. Yeah, the that's hill. right. Well, we're going to offer an option where Ike will record an impression of whatever engine you would like, and they'll simply play it on a speaker. You know, and that would so. be a feature that yeah. comes with the electric. Yeah, you could just sw- right. you could switch that on. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, Ike will uh, <laughs> Ike will do his impression of a one point six liter. Uh, and, uh, at any point of the day, you know, warm, cold, whatever you want. He's very talented when it comes to uh, uh, that. So uh, that's what uh, we've got uh, here live from Anark uh, this oh, morning. Yeah, oh, Steven, what's that? Yes. These. Late breaking. Today, no, but just as a reminder to everyone, we have a series of expo sessions. Oh, of course. Yes. Stations. How could I forget? So Nick Dimbleby talking about uh, his book, his photography, yeah, that's his right. career. We will have Bob Burns and Daphne Green mm-hmm. talking about Tread Lightly with That's representative right. yep. Tread Lightly. That's right. yep. We'll also have Bob speaking about the earliest days of Range Rover North That's America right. and That's creating right. the entity that has brought us all into the Land Rover world. In That's the right. US. Yeah. So some super interesting. Kim fans. McCullough will be talking yep. about her discovery two days of introducing that model That's right. and yep. so on. That's right. So and Daphne Green uh, will also be talking a bit about her team leadership on the Land Rover driving. That's team. right. That's absolutely yeah. right. Well, and, you know, Daphne's such a, a fantastic oh, person, yeah. uh, such an inspirational. And uh, we've talked about it before, yeah. um, you know, having our uh, team in the Rebel, Jenna and right. Liza, uh, right. you know, uh, Daphne's a real inspiration to, uh, you know, women off-road rally drivers uh, everywhere. And uh, uh, Daphne uh, really broke that uh, ground, you know, is yes, uh, a did. real pioneer yes, in did. that space. And so. continues to. And yeah. continues to. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it's going to be a fantastic day, although a little bit damp. It sure does feel uh, as a diesel defender drives by that we could be somewhere in the Midlands right now. <laughs> uh, it's or, really on message for or sure. Or to be honest, I could be on my island on exactly. the coast of Maine. It's just exactly like right. this right now. Exactly right. <laughs> Hopefully you don't have to go and rescue anybody here <laughs> I today. Hope not. Uh, but uh, yeah, another fantastic day here at Anarch. So uh, if you're here with us, come and say hello. Uh, we're uh, we're here in the uh, podcast uh, hot stove yeah, lounge uh, all day. Uh, unfortunately, the hot stove lounge is not uh, operable indoors uh, per uh, the uh, the powers that be. So it's going to be a sort of moderately warm lounge, but that's okay. Uh, that's okay. Uh, check out the uh, panels going on all day, the RTV course, the off-road trails, of course, the beautiful uh, vehicles that are Unbelievable on display. Unbelievable collection of vehicles. There. That has been the one comment from all the honorees. Yeah. Is they have just been dazzled by who came in what. There is somebody here from Wisconsin, I'm told, yes. who drove their Series 1. Steve from, Owen. Thank you. Steve that is Owen, Steve Owen. I'm, good I friend, saw Steve him. Owen. Yeah, yeah. He is here. He drove from us 800 miles in his 80-inch Land Rover. Of course, Steve Owen is uh, a lot more than 80 inches tall. He is, <laughs> yeah, he is a <laughs> he is fitting a into an 80 inch. He, It's incredible. He's, he's a good uh, 6, 7 inches <laughs> taller than I am, and uh, I barely fit in my 80-inch. Uh, you know, Steve is uh, a beautiful human being. He's going to talk to us this morning oh, here in great. the podcast that's lounge. Good. So uh, yeah. if you're here on site and you want to uh, you want to get uh, the, the inside scoop from Steve, uh, John did a podcast with him before he left. Okay. We're going to do the podcast Excellent. after he's arrived. So and we'll, it's see, nice, if can, we'll see if he can if he can still speak. <laughs> that's right, exactly. So <laughs> what was the old Dave Dudley song? Uh, six days on the road that's and exactly I hope right. you get it right. That's Four exactly days right. on the road and I hope you get it back. And I hope you get it back again. That's exactly right. So all right. Well, Jeff, it's a pleasure as always. Thanks for joining us Thank this morning. A better way to uh, start the uh, the day, and uh, we'll be back again tomorrow, uh, 9 a.m. Eastern time, right after the driver's right. meeting, uh, joined here live at uh, Anarch at the Diamond Jubilee. We'll have a recap of tonight's dinner, uh, all kinds of uh, fun stuff. We'll see how many people got stuck out in the woods <laughs> in, the, uh, in the mud. And uh, until then, for the Underpowered Hour and for uh, Anarch's 75th anniversary, I'm Steve Ferris, joined, as always, by my uh, good friend and uh, legendary Land Rover uh, uh, luminary enthusiast and all around good guy jeff aronson so thank you very much thank you sir and we'll see you all tomorrow on the track